power on. Bluetooth connected. Now in this video, I'll be reviewing a headphones which apparently seems to fare better than high-end product brands like Microsoft and Bose, so keep watching. Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. If you guys are new, hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing to Adam Lobo TV as I release high quality tech videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. And if you're returning as a subscriber, welcome back guys. Now there's so many high-end noise cancellation headphones around today, but what makes it a really tough decision is to choose which ones to get. But when I got myself the Sony WH-1000X M3 Active Noise Cancellation headphones, I was really eager to try it out, especially with all the hype that is going on about it. Now the unboxing experience of this headphone was gold as the box comes mainly in white with textured finish to the box and the visuals of the color of the headphones right in front. Then you'll find the model number to the left, Google Assistant down below, along with other features there as well. Now looking at the back of the box, there is more specs over there and what comes inside of the box. And you'll also find all the different audio qualities available for the headphones. Now you will need to slide the box to the left where you will find the setup instructions. Then you'll see a really nice carrying case right inside with one side on the netter fittings and a nice copper zip and a hook as well. Now unzipping the carrying case, you will see the headphones nicely tucked inside. Then you'll also find a 3.5 to 3.5 mm headphones cable a short USB A to USB C cable, sweet, and an airplane adapter, which is really nice. Then below the headphones, there's also a cardboard which tells you the control features of the headphones. Then finally, at the back inside of the box, there's more user guide and manuals as well. Now, in terms of the build of the headphones, it is made of hard plastic material and the headband is also really sturdy and it has a really nice added padding with no pinch at the crown area of the head. And like most headbands out there, it is also adjustable by pulling up or retracting it back down to fit on your head. And it also has a really nice comfortable ear cups which is made of high quality soft leather and it covers my ears perfectly since this is an over the ear closed headphones. Now one thing to note is there is a weird folding style to store the headphones which I didn't find it friendly at first but I guess that really comes down to your muscle memory so it does take some time. Now in terms of the color choices of the headphones, there's black which I have right here with a very nice copper color touch to it. Then there's also silver as well. Now the headphone weighs approximately 255 grams which honestly is really lightweight. I've used these headphones while scripting and during my last video edit and I didn't find any ear fatigue at all compared to the current Audio Technica headphones that I use which is the Audio Technica M50X. But if your environment is warm or even after a long use, you will experience a bit of sweat on the ear cups and this could be due to the prevention of the sound leakage which prevents the ear from really properly breathing, so keep that in mind. Now moving on to the ear cups, there is a microphone at both sides of the ear cups with a really nice copper trim to it and then going towards the left ear cup, you will find the power button and pressing that power button once will let you know the battery percentage then next to it, there's the noise cancellation or the ambient sound button which can be remapped to the Google Assistant and now after the update, even the Amazon Echo as well. Now moving on to the right, we do have the fast charging USB-C port which Sony claims that it gives the headphones 5 hours of usage with only 10 minutes of charge time where for me, I did get about 5 hours plus at the same charge time so that is really much true. And speaking again on the battery, it does fully charge at 2 hours and 20 minutes which is supposed to last about 30 hours but it got me 2 hours plus with music up to maximum volume with noise cancellation on which was still really impressive. Now connecting the headphones is pretty swift, it uses Bluetooth 4.2 instead of Bluetooth 5.0 which was quite weird especially since lower end Bluetooth headphones already have Bluetooth 5.0 and just so you guys know that you can't pair these headphones with more than one device so you can't switch between several devices which is an obvious drawback. 
Now to pair with your phone, you will need to have your phone's Bluetooth on and then press and hold the power button on the left ear cup and then you'll hear a voice prompt which says Bluetooth pairing and immediately the noise cancellation will be switched on on the headphones. Then in the phone, choose the headphones in the list. Once connected, there'll be another voice prompt which says it is connected. Then the Google Assistant will pop up as well to set up the device which was really cool. Then you'll need to allow all permissions within there and you'll get the headphones info over there. Next, go to the additional settings and then hit the Headphones Connect app where it'll prompt you to download the Sony Headphones Connect app which is available for Android and iOS devices. Now, if you guys are running on an Android system device with NFC, you can always just tap the headphones by using the NFC connectivity function to establish pairing. Now, here's a quick walkthrough of the app. You do have the adaptive noise cancellation which will detect your surrounding, whether you're staying, walking, running or being on the public transport, which is also very unique and nice. Then there's the noise cancellation optimizer where there will be a bunch of weird melodies played on the headphones to optimize your current area. There's a sound position control which I left it at default. Then there's further surround VPT settings where you can change between different environments. Then there's the equalizer settings for the custom and other presets in there. Now one thing to note is that whenever you change your EQ settings, it will change your sound quality from APTX, so keep that in mind. Then there's also a now playing area based on what song's being played. Below that, there's the sound quality mode to prioritize on sound quality or stable connection where I choose this sound quality option. Underneath that, there's the change function and this is to remap the noise cancellation and the ambient sound control button to change to ambient sound control, Google Assistant or Amazon Echo. Then there's the automatic power off button to turn off the headphones on a selected time frame. Now controlling the music is based on the touch and swipe motion which was really responsive. You can swipe up or down to control the music's volume and then you can swipe back or forth to change the tracks and you can double tap to pause or tap to answer phone calls. And since I'm also a fan of Google Assistant, these headphones allow me to access that too by tapping on the noise cancellation button as mentioned earlier once where it will read your notification on the phone. Message from William and three other updates. William says, haha Hanola, it's cool. We can always catch up another time. Then if you press and hold the same button, it's like having a Google Home where other than asking typical questions, you can also control your smart devices as well, which is super duper cool. Turn off room AC. Sure, turning off the room AC. Now as for additional features, you have the ability to poop your poop, huh? Now as for the additional features, you have the ability to put your palm on the right ear cup and have it use the built-in microphones outside of the ear cups to allow some of the ambient sound to pass through while lowering your music volume so you can hear and respond to people around you and hear how it sounds. So yes, just imagine ordering your coffee or even your meal and not taking the headphones off by just instead putting your palm over it. Amazing, huh? Now coming to the technicality of the headphones, right under the ear cups, there's a 40mm speaker driver. Now Sony has included the LDAC other than the APTX HD, which also means that it offers the best and the clearest wireless audio transmission at the moment. But of course, you will need a device which also supports the LDAC connectivity, but usually phones with Android 8.0 or higher will work pretty fine. Now honestly, music coming through these headphones is great and being a music guy, I've tested this in different genres and I must say that it does give a very well balanced sound quality even at its flat EQ settings. Now I started off listening to Deadmau5's My Opinion and the synth effect at the beginning sounded really nice and once the beat kicks in, I felt the bass just nicely vibrating on the headphones and around the ears without overpowering the music. Then I switched to Astral by Pyramid where the surrounding effect was really great and once the bass guitar comes in, it sounded really warm and nice and it complements the beat. Then I switched to Post Malone Sunflower and the surrounding vocals was really clear coming from different directions within the headphones and the vocals in dead center. Then listening to Fresh Shimmer's version of Ain't No Mountain High Enough was also really nice especially when the EDM beat comes in throughout the whole entire song. 
Next, I tried listening to Isabella Salander's Stargazing and here's where I felt that the highs could have been a bit better. You can always tweak it according to your liking but overall was good. And yes, as a metal genre fan, I finished off listening to Killswitch Engage, My Curse and the electric guitar effects and the distortions was really nice and clear and the vocal and the kick drums were perfectly balanced but there were times where the bass guitars were overpowering the kick drums but this could be countered by adjusting the EQ once again to the bright EQ preset as Sony wasn't really good at producing great sound for rock and the metal genre. Now as for phone calls, they were great with both sides hearing each other well but the other person sometimes heard some additional background sound since there is a very powerful microphone on the headphones so keep that in mind. And of course watching videos on YouTube and movies on Netflix was also great without any latency or delay of the audio video performance and coupled with the amazing Dolby feature with my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, it was a really great experience. Now the overall noise cancellation was great as you can adjust it very accurately within the app as I mentioned earlier so get your headphones on as this is how it sounds with the active noise cancellation and also the very interesting ambient sound mode as well. Ambient sound. Now what I really like about this pair is that it also comes with wired options too which makes it easier when we are out of battery or if some of you are like me who preferred a wired option in general but the sound quality was only a hairline better on the wired option. Now as for the price factor, it is not cheap comparing to the other headphones like the Edifier noise cancellation headphones that I reviewed previously but it is retailing at 1599 ringgit. and if you guys would like to get it, I'll leave a link at the description below. Now to sum it up, the Sony WH-1000XM3 seems to fare pretty well now compared to other wireless noise cancellation headphones out in the market today. With its amazing sound quality, good noise cancellation and the app functions and of course, the comfort of wearing it in very long hours. So guys, that's my take on the new Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones. Would you guys agree to get it? Do let me know at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in the next video.